Hey, Jesse here. I'm back for another LEGO Spider-Man No Way Home 2021 set review for you guys. And this time, I'm reviewing the last set for the lineup, and that is Spider-Man vs. Mysterio's Drone Attack. It's at 76184, it is 4+, plus. it has 73 pieces and 3 minifigures. And this set costs 20 US dollars here in North America and around the world for the lineup. And this is going to be a neat set for the lineup. So without further ado, let's take a look at the mini. So here we have the three mini figures in this set. We have Nick Fury, Spider-Man in his upgraded suit, and Mysterio. We only get two exclusive mini figures in this set. We have Spider-Man and Mysterio. And we finally get the upgraded suit for Spidey. Yes, finally. Since that should have been in that Stark Jet set in 2019. But we finally got it in 2021. And it looks really good looking. I totally love this minifigure. We do get the same headpiece from the CMF series and the Sanctum Workshop. And he has his webbing accessory right here, as you can see, which is really cool. And I like the new Mysterio minifigure. And they fix his torso pretty to make it more movie accurate. Since in two years, Lego accidentally screwed it up to make it dark green well it was supposed to be in that goldish look and he has a red ruby and he has a remote controller which is the little edith part right there that he is using the edith stark glasses right there to control the drones and nick fury is still the same one that we've gotten in two years he has these two blasters right here but the leg torso and face printing is the exact same one that we've gotten in two years so nothing too new at all but it is literally the same thing and yeah it says that piece right here that is printed right here so it's not a sticker it's a printed piece for these junior sets right here for that piece right here and take a look at their back torso printings well nick and spidey have back head printing right here and they have back torso printing right there i like the spider symbol for the suit and we have the back of Mysterio's cape, and he has back torso pretty right here, and he has a blue clear head, but no Jake Gyllenhaal Quentin back head. I wish they could do that right there instead of make it all like a clear show, but it is what it is. So that is it for the minifigs. Now let's, so let's get take a look at this illusion drone first. And to me, I know this is a four plus junior set, but it's a little clunky and wacky in my opinion. Well. They should just copy some of the other drones, like from that monster truck set, but I get it. This is still a 4 plus set right here, but still a little clunky-ish to me, but still. But anyways, here we have the front of the drone itself. We have another printed piece right here, as you can see, which is really clunky. And we have these little machine guns that you can move up and down if you want to position them. And this is the whole front part right here. And this is what the top of it looks like. Nothing much on the bottom. Here's the side of the drone, which is really nice. Here's the back of it, and here's the other side. And it has a little disc piece that you can fire that out. So you can't fire these disc pieces out, and this is what it looks like. If you lose one of these discs, they give you only two spares right here. But nothing much for the drone right here, but that is all we've got right here. But that is it for the drone. And let's take a look at this Audi SWAT car. So... Here's the Audi swap card right here that showed up in Far From Home. And it looks really cool looking in my opinion. So I totally like how this card turns out right here. So this is the whole front interior right here. The whole front part. We have these rectangular red and blue slow pieces as the sirens right here, which is really cool. And here's the whole front part that, as usual for these junior sets, there are no stickers. It is a printed piece. And that is the same Look that we've gotten before in some other junior sets right here. So that is printed right here. It is the whole front part. And here's the side of it right here, which is really nice looking. Here's the top with the little driver's seat. Nothing much on the bottom. And this is the whole car body part right here, which is really neat. And here's the other side with the same thing. And here's the back of it with the brake lights and stuff, which is really cool. And you can't put Nick Fury right there. And there are some black clip pieces right there. If you guys wanted to put these blasters or gun pieces right there, if you wanted to do that. So here's one for the right side, and here's one for the left side. And this is how it looks like when you put the blasters on there. So here we have this side with the blasters on, 
and the other side with the same thing. And that is what it looks like. And as for Nick Fury, you can't put him inside of the car right here. So let me see if I can. There we go. So you can send him down right there. Or if you want to, you can't take one of the blasters off to make him hold it while he's driving if you want to. And there's a little handle piece if you want Spider-Man to hang on on the back of the car and lunge it to fight Quentin if you want to. And it does roll just like so too, which is really cool. Okay, so nothing much for this set right here, but that is all we've gotten so far right here. So that is it for the two builds in this set. Now let's move on to the final so one. To be honest, uh, some junior sets are quite a little disappointing, but honestly for this one, this is pretty cool in my opinion. So honestly, I really like this set. It is really nice looking, and this is the cheapest way to get the new version of Mysterio. And we finally get the upgraded Spider-Man suit. Finally, it is really cool looking. Well, for $20, this is a good value or deal for this little set right here. And this is a really nice looking set. Well, some 4 Plus Junior sets are a little bit disappointing sometimes. But honestly, for this one... It's really cool looking. So I totally like this Audi SWAT car for Nick Fury right here. That is really cool looking. And you can't attach or detach these blasters if you want Nick to hold them while he's driving if you want to. And that is really cool looking. And as for that little handlebar, you can't let Spidey hang on to it. Like make it like a little scene from the movie itself. But all that is really cool looking. Well, some of these are based off of Far From Home. But... It's still not from No Way Home, but it's based off of Far From Home. Well, I get that Lego is trying to obey spoilers just like how they did it with Endgame in two years, but it is what it is. And as for the little drone, it is a little clunky. Well, I get it. It's still a four plus set, but it's still a little clunky-ish to me in my opinion, which is all right to me. And I really like the new Mysterio minifigure, but I wish they could ditch that clear blue headpiece it added a Jake Gyllenhaal Quentin back head right there but at least they fixed the torso protein since in two years Lego accidentally screwed up the torso protein in that dark greenish color but this time of year they made it more movie accurate because it's officially gold this time and we finally get the upgraded Spider-Man suit that we've been wanting so bad right here but we finally get him in this $20 set right here well we've seen that suit in no way home too but like i said they're trying to obey spoilers and nick fury like i said still the same one from two years but at least this is the cheapest way to get him because this is a 20 dollar set but anyways nothing much to say but that is all i've gone so far for the lineup so that is it for now thank you guys for watching remember to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new hit that notification bell the same button link in the description and hulk smash that comment section down below and tell me in the comments what you guys think about this set for the lineup I'll see you later, alligator.